Dave asked me about this pregame, <clears throat> and I wasn't going to say anything because I was going to save my money, but I, I just can't anymore. It's 70-something points in the paint to 50-something. Again, they outshoot us from the free throw line, 38 free throws. I wa watched the play, watched the play where I got a technical foul on. Watch w what happened to LeBron James's arm. It's the same thing that James Harden and Chris pa Paul shot 30 free throws on us the night before. Then LeBron pulls up on a screen, somebody trying to fight over. Same, same thing they shot free throws on. Same thing. We are scoring 70 points a night in the, in the paint. That we're putting pressure on the Josh Hart. Watch how Josh Hart plays this game. He played 40 minutes tonight. All he does is attack the rim. Zero free throws tonight. Zero. So to me, it doesn't matter. If, I know they're young. I get that. But if we're going to play a certain way, let's not reward people for flopping 30 feet from the hole on plays that have nothing to do with that possession. They're just flopping just to keep, see if they get a foul call. And then not reward players that are physically going to the basket and getting hit. It's not right. That being said, I thought our guys fought. They competed tonight. They never gave up. Rebounding got better, the things we focused on. Rebounding got better. We covered the free throw thing already. We didn't do a good job with that. Some of that's still our fault. We, we are failing. Some of that's our fault. But uh, we're going to continue to get better on that. But uh, overall, very pleased with our guys tonight. Uh, had a chance to win. That's three games we've been in. We had chances to win. Now, obviously, it's about winning and losing at the end of the day here. But for us, bigger picture, we're working on getting better, working on getting better. So uh, it's a tough one to, to take. But we'll be back in the gym again tomorrow doing it, doing it all over. Go ahead now. Yeah, Luke, how do you make sense of the you know, the eight zero run to force overtime, and then the, uh, the the run that the Spurs go on in overtime? And that how did, you don't see that too often. What did you what did you make of that? Uh, good players making good plays. Um, obviously, you know we felt like we we let that game get away, and you know San Antonio was feeling the same way at the end of regulation. So they outplayed us. Uh, for most of that, that, that regulation, and we found a way to sneak back into it, and then they did the same thing to us in overtime. We could have had a couple better possessions down the stretch, uh, but give them credit. They, they, made, they made every shot they needed to make tonight, and, and we almost did. We, uh, we'll take LeBron going to his left on a step-back jumper for game every single night. He's going to hit uh, most of those, but, uh, you know, players are making plays. Is it more frustrating to lose when you make a run like that in, in, uh, to force overtime, or is it the same? Uh, I don't know. It's, I, I, was, I was pleased with the way we played today. I, I was. So uh, we got to get off to a better start. We talked about being disciplined. We talked about being physical. And to start the game, especially against San Antonio, you let a team with that type of skill move the ball freely. I mean, they, I think they hit their first 11 shots tonight. Uh, we can't let that happen. We got to be into them without failing, but make them, you know, make win the the battle of the of the line. You know what I mean? Don't let them move it freely. Push them back. Make them operate outside their 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 areas. Coach, what what would you say is just most encouraging? Those are three teams that obviously made the playoffs last season. Um, you want the W, obviously, but are there things that are standing out specifically to you that you can see big picture? These could be Ws in 10, 15, 20 games. Yeah, everything is. Really, we've gotten better. I mean, it's been a month together, really. Uh, we're, we're rebounding the ball better. I think we might have even had more rebounds than, than they did tonight. Um, our assist numbers are up where we want it. We haven't even started making shots, really. Uh, we finally hit a few tonight in the second half, but uh, the assist numbers are in the, you know, the high 20s. I think we had 33 tonight. So the way we want to play, the pace has been great. All these things have as far as who we are as a team are happening. And now, you know, we got to we got to close out games. We got to get stops uh, down the stretch, uh, not foul down the stretch, things like that. Um, but we're we're making we're, yeah, I, I, I feel very good about where we're headed. Uh, Luke, your guys last offensive possession and regulation, you were inbounding with about 10 seconds to go. It looked like LeBron was signaling for a timeout that you guys didn't have. Yeah. Um, what was the action that you guys ended up running, and did someone get LeBron's attention and tell him that you didn't have any timeouts? Well, when I saw him 
calling for the timeout. I was yelling. I think Kuz, I think Kuz, I, I, I have got to watch the tape, was yelling too. Um, but once he realized not that we didn't have any, uh, there wasn't an action we ran. Uh, it was LeBron dribbled up and, and, and made a three, which is, you know, what what makes him, him special. Uh, but that was just him uh, doing that on his own. Obviously, Kuz had a ton of scoring tonight. But overall, how would you assess, you know, the guys who, who stepped in the starting lineup? The, how do I assess the guys yeah, that, just, that I mean, what, oh, the, what new, do you think the they, guys that started tonight? Yeah. Um, they were good. They, I mean, Kuz, his his mentality is awesome, right? Like he knows he he makes mistakes. He knows he needs to get better on defense, um, but he doesn't take it personal. You know, he's he texted me after the last game, said that'll never happen to me again. I mean, that'd be nice if it never did. I'm sure it will. But that's his mentality, and and then he comes in and he works and he works and he works. Um, so you know. Is second year player that's able to have nights like this. That's why we're so high on him. Uh, Zoe had some really big moments. I think again he shows us why he he can be such a special player. The three he hits in the corner right after San Antonio hits the three. I mean that's a big shot. Uh, he made some incredible plays and he made some plays where he was, looked like he was second guessing himself a little bit. But overall, I thought both of them had very nice nice nights for us. Uh, probably not a situation Jonathan Williams imagined himself in playing in overtime in, in that situation. What did you see from him, especially defensively, like kind of in that, in that, in that, in that? that well, moment? that's yeah, that, that's what we've seen from him uh, since training camp started. It, it's what uh, you know made made our staff really start to take a close look at him because defensively he's active. Um, and he's really intelligent. He, his communication for being a guy just trying to make camp, how much he talks during the the, the drills and covering out, co calling out coverages, has been really impressive. So th those are the things we saw, um, you know. And obviously, we believe in our players. I don't, you know, he 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 was really really good tonight uh, down that stretch, and happy for him. Um, but he was out there just playing basketball and making reads. He's not afraid of of the moment, and he, you know, he's. First time out there, he shot a 15-foot jump shot. That's not his go-to shot, but he's confident with that. Um, so I was very happy, and obviously he, he, he played very well tonight.